Expecting police action, the Black Panthers had fortified their office. FBI informant O'Neill was now head of Panther security in Chicago. And I remember uh, walking out of the office and uh, and looking through a little clearing over on the, ne the next block, which was right in front of uh, the Monroe Street address, and seeing a lot of <clears throat> police cars over there. And um, at that time, Bobby Rush came to the office. Uh, he had just come from over there, or maybe the coroner's office. In any case, we walked back over there, and uh, we both were speechless. We just walked through the house and and saw where what had taken place and where he died, and it was it was shocking. And then I was, you know, I just began to realize that the information that I had supplied leading up to that moment had facilitated that raid. I knew that indirectly uh, I had contributed and I felt it and I felt bad about it. And then I got mad. You know, I had, uh, and then I had to conceal those feelings, which made it worse. I couldn't, I couldn't say anything. I just had to continue to play the role. FBI headquarters authorized payment of a $300 bonus to informant William O'Neill for, quote, uniquely valuable services which he rendered over the past several months, unquote. 